do you really need to spend a lot of money for SSDs? Well, not really because we got here the WD Blue SN570 M.2 NVMe SSD and this one will offer great performance for an affordable price. Hey guys, I'm Jam of JamOnline.ph and today we're gonna review one of the best value SSDs in the market, the WD Blue SN570. So this is the successor of the SN550, but this time we got here a faster read and write speeds. So this one is an M.2 NVMe PCIe Gen 3 SSD. It's not yet Gen 4, but for a Gen 3 SSD, this one did a pretty good job. So the SSD promises an up to 3,500 MB per second for the read speeds and up to 3,000 MB per second for sequential write speeds. So basically this one is really faster than your SATA SSDs and your HDDs at home. So why is it perfect for those people who are creating content? Basically, with this SSD, you can get faster loading times on your PC and also for the applications that you use every day. Basically, you can boost your PC speeds with the WD Blue SN570 SSD. And for content creators, I'm pretty sure that you would love the transfer speed of your 4K videos from one drive to another or just copying it to another application because of the fast read and write speeds. We also got your TLC NAND type, that's why we only got here a few word chips. They didn't maximize the PCB of the SSD, but what you're seeing right now is still the SSD speeds and a one terabyte storage inside. So the WD Blue SN570 comes in 250 gigs, 500 gigs, and also one terabyte variants. And for our review, we're using the one terabyte WD Blue SN570 M.2 NVMe SSD. And we're gonna use this SSD in our PC with these specifications. You might be curious about the performance, now, let's go to the benchmarks of the WD Blue SN570. In Crystal Disk Mark, we got here a read speeds of 3,592 MB per second, which is more than, than what WD has promised. And in write speeds, we got here a speeds of 3,156 MB per second. And again, that is more than, than what WD has promised to the consumers. In AS SSD benchmark, the WD Blue SN570 SSD fell a little bit short when it comes to our scores. In Autodisk benchmark, the WD Blue SN570 managed to get 3.37 gigs per second for the read speeds and 3.03 gigs per second for the write speeds. Basically, the WD Blue SN570 managed to reach and even exceed our expectations when it comes to benchmarks. And compared to the competition, the WD Blue SN570 managed to get a higher read and write speeds on both Crystal Disk Mark and in Atto Disk Benchmark. And compared to the SN550, which is the predecessor, the SN570 managed to get up to 40% increase in read and write speeds. If you are worried about the health of your SSD, you can download the WD dashboard from their website and you can check the status of your SSD and even check the speeds and everything. You can also do a diagnostic test to know if there are problems with your SSD. Now, for the bonus. We got here a free one month of Adobe Creative Cloud out of the box. So yes, for content creators, you would surely love that one and of course, WD is offering up to 5 years warranty with this SSD. So yes, you are protected with the WD Blue SN570. So overall, the WD Blue offers a fast read and write speed which is perfect for content creators out there. So if you're planning on upgrading your laptop or your desktop, you could buy this one out in the market. It's very easy to install and it comes in different sizes, whether that's a 250 gigs, 500 gigs, or 1 terabyte. Do I recommend it? Definitely. So if you're looking on upgrading your desktop or your laptop, you want to have a faster experience with your operating system, you would love the SN570 because of its price. But if you got a lot of money, you could spend for the WD Black that offers a faster 
read and write speeds, and of course, offers better features. So that's it for our review of the WD Blue SN570. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am JumpJumpOnline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.